Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we're going to talk about these patch notes. Now, I haven't seen really any videos at all, so if there's something, some change in here compared to the APK, I'm probably not going to know about it. I'm just way too busy, didn't get to watch really anything. Maybe just little tidbits here and there, maybe a little something in the Discord, but I really don't know much about what's going on in the update at all. So let's dive into it and let's see what's going on here. So we have the Greetings Agents, this is CM Fragment of Marvel Future Fight. The new Guardians of the Galaxy team will cooperate to fight against gigantic threats from space. Marvel Future Fight has prepared the May update by referring to the cosmic Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's follow Star-Lord and Beta Ray Bill's journey to stop the infestation and wars in space, which is pretty cool. So we got five new heroes, Star-Lord and Punisher, both got uniforms. Star-Lord's getting his Tier 3 through the epic quest. Beta Ray Bill's joining the fight with uh, the Awakening, which is pretty cool. Uh, we we got the new epic quest, the Galactic Imperative, pretty cool name. The World Boss preset option, which is awesome. We'll talk about that later. That's freaking wonderful. And content status board improvements have been added. Other various contents have also been prepared. So we got the new heroes, which are Beta Ray Bill, Philavel, Darkhawk, Nova, and Gladiator. From what I can see, like the little bits that I've seen, it looked like Gladiator will be the strongest. He is the native tier two from the epic quest but we'll have to we'll have to wait and see i mean he's the he's the gene gray of the epic quest uh the strife of the epic quest so we'll see we'll see so here we have beta ray bill who's a universal thank god you know he's got a shock leadership uh okay leadership skill applies all allies increased lightning damage i'm sure that goes up that's kind of whatever i mean it's a self-buffing leadership for him but it's really only gonna be mainly useful against ebony which is kind of eh, meh his passive skill decreases all damage received by 30%, which is wonderful. That's awesome. He's got a nice, uh, when HP is below 45%, he gets a 50% recovery max HP. And again, this will probably change in the actual uh, update. But that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. So when he gets low on HP, he's going to revive a hell of a lot of his life. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Tier 2 skill, 20% ignore defense. That's freaking stupid. Why in the hell they put ignore defense? <laughs> On uh, his tier 2 passive is dumb. The increased lightning damage is fine. That synergizes really well with him. But the ignore defense is just, I don't know. It's kind of whatever. The active skill damage one, you got the lightning resistance down. And it does apply to world boss, which is wonderful. You got the skill 2, the del shock damage. Eh. The skill 3 has a immunity. I'm pretty sure this is going to go up to 100% chance for, or 100% Immunity to all damage for 5 seconds. Uh, plus, it's got an increased damage by 100% for one attack. That's actually really cool. I'm pretty sure that we can cancel this skill and hopefully keep that 100% damage proc on his main damaging skill, which I believe is his 5th or 4th. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I haven't seen much footage about these guys. Uh, skill 4 has a lightning resistance down, which is good. Has a nice all attack buff, crit rate buff. That's great. Removing ca capacitation. Pretty cool. Good little buffing skill, his fist skill. Has a paralysis, which does work in World Boss. It's going to be, that should be really, really good. Especially these days with the striker changes the way they are. And he does have more lightning resistance down, which is good. I like that he's got all defense down that applies World Boss. So that's way more powerful than lightning resistance down could ever be. Unless you're going against Ebony. All defense down is just the way to go. So that's pretty cool to see. So he's got invincibility. So he, he looks pretty strong. We'll have to wait and see. He looks pretty strong. Then we have Phi Lavelle. She looks great. And her leadership skill is 20% increase of energy defense. Oh, she's a universal character, which is wonderful. Superhero. But energy defense, eh, whatever. Her four-star passive gives her super armor, which is wonderful. She's got to reflect 25% of energy damage, which is pretty cool. That's actually really nice that they gave her that. Her tier 2 skill, 30% increase of all attacks. So this will probably go up. This is actually a good leadership. Really nice. Applies a universal type, so similar to Ronin. Her first skill, Little Bleed, which is useless in Marvel Future Fight. One, one of these days, maybe it would be useful. Uh, skill 2 does have immunity to all damage. Imagine this to go up to 100% chance. She does have an all defense sound that does apply to World Boss. And she's got damage accumulation on this thing, which is pretty cool based on how much damage you take. And since, you know, a lot of mind control strikers don't work whenever you're... Conquer level is low against certain world bosses. This might actually prove to be very useful. Uh, skill 3, because you're going to be taking more damage, which they're 
characters won't be under mind control. I got stun on a three, skill four, and more bleed, which is useless. Got an all defense down to apply to world boss. That's great. Uh, and then skill five has a, a, a heal and it has invincibility. So, wow, she's got a lot of good things going on. She's got a nice little attack buff. All right, cool. Looking pretty sweet. And then we got Darkhawk, who's a speed. Should be universal. I think that's kind of crappy speed. They should have all been universal in my book. Uh, leadership, same old speed, crap uni uh, leadership, four-star passive. This is freaking wonderful. Increased damage dealt to supervillains. I think this goes up to 40%. Decreased damage received uh, from supervillains. I'm not really sure, but that's that's pretty awesome that he gets that self-buffing passive. That's That's pretty nice. Tier 2 skill, ignore defense, or tier 2 passive, ignore defense. I don't know, what the hell, it's so stupid. He's got the ignore target dodge, which is actually very useful. Skill 1, stun. Skill 2, has an all defense now applies to war boss. That's good stuff. Skill 3, damage accumulation based on how much damage you deal. Plus he's got uh, immunity to all damage for 5 seconds. He has a heal. Wow. Reflects 12% of received damage. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. Wow. Well, he's looking pretty sweet. Uh, four skill, little bleed, useless in Marvel Future Fight. Fifth skill, has a 40% chance of missing attack. Nice little attack buff. Well, he, Darkhawk's actually looking like a decent character. A little crit rate buff there too. Okay. And then we have Nova, our universal character. Thank God he's universal. And this guy's going to be compared to Sam Alexander big time. Big time. We'll see if he brings the impact or impacts the game as much as uh, the as, as much as Sam Alexander did. So he's got an increased energy attack. So he's going to apply to all hero allies. So this will go up, which is pretty sweet. He's got the passive skill. Uh, tier 1, ignore target dodge rate by 20%. And wow, so at tier 1, increased damage dealt to supervillain types by 30%. So it would be a decent... Well, that's for himself, and at Tier 2, it applies to all allies and increased damage to supervillain types by 40%. Hopefully, this kind of scares me when I see things like this, because it's good, because it's a self-buffing thing, and it buffs other characters, but I worry it makes him just a good support, and I, I hope to God that's not the case. Please, God, don't let that be the case. Don't let him be another Nick Fury, man. That would suck. Uh, tier 2 skill... Increased guaranteed dodge rate by 20%. That's good. Uh, skill 1. Okay, you can move it around. That's really nice. Got a guard hit on it. Skill 2 has an all defense down. That applies to world boss. Good stuff. Skill 3 gives him super armor. Lasts for 8 seconds. Okay, that's really good. On a 10 second cooldown. So that's going to be 5 seconds. So you'll be able to keep this up most of the time. And it has ignore iframe. Wow, so it could be really good in PvP. Penetrates everything. Wow. Interesting. Skill 4 has a 5 second invincibility. He's got a missing attack here. He's got all attack buff. Okay, okay, looking pretty sweet. Skill 5 has a, okay, it has a heal. Has an all defense down. That applies to world boss. Okay, great. Has another attack buff. All right, all right, a little immunity there. All right, Nova's looking pretty good. We'll see. And then we have Gladiator, the Jean Grey of the Epic Quest. And he's get a he gets a nice attack buff for all allies. And this says at level 1, so that's going to go up, which is wonderful. I think it absolutely sucks that he's combat. He should have been universal. What a bunch of crap. I don't like that at all. Uh, his passive skill gives him super armor. Uh, decrease all damage received by 40%. Wow, that's actually really good. That'll make him a pretty good tank. Especially putting him with uh, someone like Shuri. Wow. Or maybe certain strikers. Uh, his tier 2 passive gives him a heal. Wow, when HP is below 99%. Wow, that's a freaking good heal. Okay, wow. Active skill 1. Silence, stun. Okay, skill 2. Okay, decrease all speed. Yeah. Skill 3. Has immunity to all damage. Has the freeze. That freeze looked pretty cool. It's got damage accumulation based on how much damage you deal, which is wonderful. Don't have to worry about taking any damage. It lasts for 7 seconds. And this is on a 9 second cooldown, so you'll keep it up most of the time, which is actually really good. Skill 4 has a nice all attack buff and all defense buff and a crit rate buff. That's really great. Removes incapacitation. Skill 5 has an all defense down and applies to world boss. And he also penetrates everything and he has 5 seconds of 
invincibility. So, and I, I've heard some good things about Gladiator, so that's good to know. And then we take a look at the new uniform. So Star-Lord's uniform effect gives him a guaranteed dodge. That's kind of whatever. I mean, okay. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, he gets a freaking amazing uniform effect. Increased damage dealt to superheroes and supervillains by 50%. Wow. Holy crap. But it just applies to itself. Whoa. Decrease all damage received by 25%. Man, that should make him a whole lot stronger. I've heard mixed reactions about uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. We'll see. Okay. And then you have all the characters that, you know, can be taken up to level 70. Yes, we know, we know, we know. Uh, let's see, Beta Bill, Philo Bell, Darkhawk, Nova, Gladiator, Nova, Sam Alexander. Okay, so Sam gets his up. Okay, cool. Uh, so Star-Lord's Tier 3 Advancement will be awarded to agents who have completed the last story stage of Epic Quest. Okay. So he acquires Tier 3 through the Epic Quest. I think everybody knows that. Uh, and then his... Tier 3 skill, wow. So he has an all defense down that does work in World Boss and starts off at 30% and stacks up to 70%. Wow. Whoa. That's a, that's, a, that's a lot of all defense down. Whoa. You get a little critical damage bump. That could be decent. You know, crit rate bump. Okay. Invincibility. Invincible effect. Penetrates everything. Okay. A nice little attack buff. All right. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Remove all debuff. Okay. I think his tier three looks freaking cool. I love it. Uh, I mean, I'm not too hip that we have to use our resources to uh, get him to tier three to get through the epic quest. But I do think that Star Lord looks like a pretty good tier three. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I got mixed feelings about it, to be honest. Then you see Star Lords in here, okay. New Awaken skill, that's Beta Ray Bill. And the Awaken skill, I swear the Awaken skills are looking more powerful than Tier 3 skills. And I'm not sure how all of you feel about that. I mean, I'm glad Beta Ray Bill is getting an Awaken skill. This is probably the character that I'm going to go for. But this is an enormous amount of text. Uh, damage accumulation based on how much damage you deal. 50% all attack buff. Uh, invincibility for 10 seconds, ignore target dodge rate by 70%, crit rate buff, paralysis that works in world boss, so they're not going to move around when you use this skill, it has lightning resistance down, I mean it's freaking, it's pretty crazy, and it looks amazing, I just love how Thor and Beta Ray combine their hammers, and then Odin lays the final blow, that's so cool, new epic quest theme, the galactic imperative, so you can follow a certain hero's story by completing various quests. Be aware that some heroes can only grow, be obtained through the epic quest, and their exclusive stages exist in the epic quest. And here they're showing Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill can reach level 60, advancement and mastery only through epic quests. Yeah, we kind of figured that. You can grow Beta Ray Bill and receive various rewards by completing stages, research, search, and other challenge missions. Awakening potential and reaching level 70 with Beta Ray Bill requires spinning materials, including world boss, as other heroes require. Yeah, we all knew that. Okay, Star Lord Tier 3 Advancement is available after completing the last Guardian story of the Epic Quest. So once you get through the Epic Quest, you'll be able to Tier 3, old boy. And then we got all the Epic Quest uh, goodies here. Okay, yeah, we can achieve Star Lord, get his Tier 3 through the Epic Quest. It's kind of like they're repeating a lot of stuff. The following rewards will be sent to those agents who have level 62 to level 70 Star Lord and have completed 62 to 70 Star Lord reward stages. I mean, this is good. You know, everybody that has their Star Lord up to level 70, you're going to get some BAM. You're going to get some uh, bio. So, I mean, that, that's good. At least they're giving you something. I mean, that's I guess that's better than nothing. Uh, when receiving the Star Lord level up rewards and some Epic Quest stories, new rewards will be given to those agents who already have Star Lord at higher levels than the predetermined rewards. Once the Epic Quest Deluxe Package or Special Deluxe Package is purchased, Deluxe, Deluxe Exclusive Stages and Benefits will be available. Deluxe Package, you can purchase the package by spending crystals. Yep, we know that. Special Deluxe Package, you can purchase the package in the game and can obtain the Deluxe Package Benefits as well as 1,000 crystals and 2,500 VIP points immediately upon purchase. Okay. So, let's see. The Deluxe... The Galaxy Imperative Deluxe Item Benefits, Story Completion Reward, Additional Deluxe Benefits Obtainable, Six Star Nova is given immediately, 
It immediately unlocks Fate of the Universe, okay? Both Guardians of the Galaxy Deluxe Package and Special Deluxe Package cannot be purchased at the same time, so you can only purchase one of them. And each Deluxe Package can only be purchased once per account. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy Deluxe Package will apply immediately upon purchase and cannot be refunded. Okay. So if you buy it, you're pretty much stuck with it. Guardians of the Galaxy Special Deluxe Package will apply immediately once used in the inbox and cannot be refunded. The special stages from the Epic Quest Deluxe Package will be avail available permanently. Gladiator can be obtained. Yes, we know. We know. You'll get him up to level 60. We'll see how much he's going to cost to uh, get all geared up. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. So let's see here. He requires BAM, Norn Stones of Chaos to grow. Yep. And then we got some new special items in the Epic Quest. Yep, yep, yep. You can get a Tier 2 Advancement ticket. I mean, that's good. Norn Stones, some biometrics. Okay. Uh, Sorcerer's Sorcerer Supreme Memory Mission and Dark Dimension Entrance limits have been removed. Okay, you can only obtain biometrics 10 times for each stage, and biometrics of summon heroes can also can, o can also only be obtained daily for limited amounts. First Family, the entrance limit of New Face has been removed. You can only obtain biometrics 10 times for each stage. Okay. As the entrance limits of Sorcerer Supreme First Family have been changed, some drop items and the amount of collection drop items have been changed. Hopefully more. World Boss Utility Improvement. Play the World Boss much quickly by setting your frequent... This is... Oh, man. I love this. This is so freaking cool. This is a big quality of life change. This is wonderful. Presets for World Bosses. I'm loving this. I cannot stand scrolling through 200 plus characters trying to figure out where the hell certain characters are this is amazing i love it thank you so much netmarble for that one let's see a name category has been added to the world boss character filter okay really characters names can be sorted in ascending and descending orders the character name will appear while pressing a character's portrait all right all right interesting Agents can now create custom content status boards. Okay, so we can change these things. Only the content that agents want to see will be displayed by using the content status board edit function. I mean, that's a nice little quality of life thing. I mean, that's fine. It's pretty good. All right, all right. I see they got squad battle in here. That's actually wonderful because I forget to play squad battle all the time. Uh, lately, I've been playing it, but the last couple weeks, uh, yeah, I pretty much forgot about it, man. I know, I know. I'm just not into the squad battle. It's easy for me to forget about it. I get pretty busy. This is pretty cool. I mean, I like that you can put whatever you want in here. I mean, every player is going to be playing different things. Uh, so that's, that's good. That's good. Nice quality of life change. Dimension Mission, Danger Room, Squad Battle, and New Epic Quest related options have been added in the content status board. The guide regarding reset time of Alliance Battle and Timeline Battle on the content status board have been improved to be accurate. A content status board tutorial has been added. Okay. Dimension mission improvement. Really? Well, let's see. Less energy and clear tickets will be spent in dimension missions difficulty 11 to 15. Okay, that is really good. I know a lot of people were upset about the way it was. So it's good to hear that they've lowered the cost of energy. Energy decreased from 16 to 12. That's actually really good. Clear tickets decreased from 3 to 2. Okay. That's actually really nice. I'm glad they did that. New uniform collection. I don't know about any of you, but I've never cared about this. I don't collect them because usually the rewards just aren't worth it. If I level up a uniform or get a character, it's just because I want them uh, or need them. Special icon convenience improvements and special a new special icon. And then they got the new uh, Nova icon. This thing looks pretty freaking cool. I uh, really like it. I'm digging it, man. I am digging it. Special icon will be sent to the inventory after pressing the close button. can always be... Use by selecting the use button in the inventory. That that icon looks pretty cool. I like it. Look at that thing. That is cool. That is cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Stormbreaker looks pretty wild too. Star Lord got the old smart going on. That's kind of cool. New future pass season. Oh, a new season of future pass will start after the update. Okay, give us your money. Uh, you can obtain various rewards along with the two special icons we have introduced above. All right. If you want to find out about Future Pass, please check the guide below. Okay, so you're going to get all these little rewards. You're going to get some CCF. You're going to get a Tier 2 Mega Advancement Ticket. Okay, 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 okay. 
The future pass will apply immediately upon purchase and cannot be refunded. Yes, we know. Open legendary mythic future pass. Hopefully they have a little acquire all. That would be pretty sweet instead of applying, you know, instead of requiring everything, you know, singularly. That really sucks. Uh, the mythic pass can be purchased after purchase. I'm kind of skipping along, guys. The mythic pass can only be purchased after purchasing the legendary pass. And blah, blah, blah. Daily loot chest added. Really, really. A new item has been added to help our agents grow their heroes. Really? Hmm. The daily loot chest will provide one daily material chest a day for seven days. Obtains various premium advancement materials and gold at a set chance. Okay. Five dollars it looks like right there. Okay. 300 crystals. Daily loot. Looks like I can get some BAM. Oh, all the way up to rank six BAM. All the way up to 5 million gold. Been nice to see some CCF in there. Made some tier 3 materials. Uh, especially since everybody's going to have to try to get, you know, Star Alert up. Use tier 3 materials to get him to tier 3. Uh, to get through the epic quest. But, you know, they didn't. And other information. A potential awakened character option will be added to the tier filter order in my team. Heroes will be filtered in the following order. Tier 3. Potential awakened. Tier 2. Tier 1. Okay. Agents will receive a penalty if they exit while selecting a hero on the Danger Room Hero selection screen, okay? So don't exit out of that screen. A penalty will not be applied if the agent leaves the Danger Room during the battle. Growth status of unequipped uniform, owned uniforms will also be added to the character growth score. The first clear reward of the ultimate difficulty levels will be reset after the update. Okay. All world boss change records will reset after the update. It's going to be really interesting what those things look like afterwards. Records of previously reached world boss levels, raid level, and the conquest level will be kept. Mark your names on the new challenge records and become the best player in the world boss. Yeah. Game error fixes, and there's a whole lot of them that need to be fixed. The issue where some effect tool tips were not displaying properly when a frenzy skill was applied to the world boss. Approximate night has been fixed. Okay, good. Grade icons will now appear correctly in the danger room for all vibranium grade agents. Okay. Don't really play Danger Room, so don't really care. But I know some of you probably do care about that. The issue where purchase limits didn't appear on the type enhanced pop-up screen has been fixed. Okay, that one, that's pretty good. The Unnatural Boss Death Animation Legendary Battle Black Widow Chapter 1 has been improved. Okay, don't play it, so don't really know much about that one. The issue where some items in the store were abnormally displayed after they were purchased up to their purchase limits has been fixed. Okay, good. The information of the buff effect frenzy has been edited. Information regarding defenses increases has been added. Okay. So now the buff icon has changed from showing the all attack and the crit rate to crit rate to increase all attack and defense. Okay, well it's kind of whatever. Sentinels Nimrod, the lesser skill, natural order has been fixed to not be canceled while using the skill and moving. Awesome! So hopefully you can use the damn four skill without you know, and don't have to worry about getting canceled when you're running around. That's freaking wonderful. Thank you so much for that one. An issue where equipped Odin's Blessing Uru is amplified, but the amplified stats are not applied to the character growth score has been fixed. Uh, okay, that's that's definitely a good thing. An issue where the challenge mission of reaching Scarlet Witch Tier 3 being completed with the Tier 2 Scarlet Witch or not being completed with Tier 3 Scarlet which has been fixed. Okay, didn't know about that one. An issue where tier two icons of some characters, portraits not displaying awakened potential, and alliance conquest has been fixed. And let me see here. I mean, just a lot of other little good stuff, I guess. I mean, eh, you know, whatever, whatever. Okay, so honestly, guys, I see a lot of dislikes. It just looks to me like. It's just characters. I mean, yeah, we got a couple quality of life things, uh, but unless I'm missing something, which I very well could be, it just looks like we're just getting some characters. We're going to get the epic quest that, from what I'm hearing, we're going to be able to barrel through in a day or maybe a little bit more. I mean, it's just kind of, honestly, man, th th this update feels like, whenever we got epic quests before, they felt awesome. You know, they felt there's so much hype behind them. And it's a real shame because these are a lot of really great characters and I'm hyped up for them. But the problem is if these characters don't stand out and if they're not stronger than our metas that we have already in the game, guess what? They're just going to sit on the shelf with all of our other toys on the shelves and we're not going to do anything with them. And, and it just makes you feel like the update feels plain, you know, like meh. And that kind of sucks. You know, I'm excited for the characters. I really am, man. I'm, I cannot, I cannot wait to get my hands on them. But 
the update just looks to me, other than a couple quality of life changes, it just looks meh to me. It doesn't look, you know, we'll see what kind of rewards we're actually going to get in the Epic Quest. Uh, and, you know, after purchasing the deluxe package, I mean, I'm hopefully it's, you know, like uh, the Mr. Fantastic uh, Epic Quest. Hopefully we get some good goodies in there every day, uh, like the uh, ISOs and stuff. But I don't know. It, it just feels kind of bland to me, unfortunately. I, I, I want to be more positive. I mean, I'm positive about the the characters. I mean, I think uh, Beta Ray Bill looks freaking amazing. Oh, my God, I can't wait to play him. But that's really about all there is, you know, at least for me, is just characters. A couple quality life changes, and that's about it. So let me know how you're all feeling about this update. Let me know if you're excited. If you're kind of like me, where you're just excited for the characters, but the rest of the update, you know, as far as you can see, other than a couple quality of life changes, just feels kind of, eh, kind of whatever, unfortunately. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.